Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, January 3rd, 2024. I pray that you are doing well and that you are in good health and good state of mind, you and your family. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Thessalonians 5, reading verses 1 to 11. And it reads, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Verse 2 says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Verse 4 say, But he, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. He are all ch the children of light, and the children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness. 6 says, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. It says, For they that sleep, sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night verse 8 but let us who are of the day be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an ailment the hope of salvation Verse 9, For God had not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. 10 says, Who died for us, that whether we awake or sleep, we should live together with him. 11 and last says wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another even also he do and i say amen we give god thanks this morning for his words and we are grateful for this privilege to know god this privilege to be a part of the know so that we are not left in darkness the word this morning is a word of warning and a word of encouragement and a word of wisdom right as it states it says that the lord will come and he will come as a thief in the night. It says that when they shall say peace and safety, or peace and safety, then sudden destruction will come. And when you look around us today, when you look at what is happening in the world, you can see that the Lord is about to come. Men's heart are failing them for fear. We hear of wars and rumors of war. Look at what is taking place in Israel right now and Russia, right? Those are two of the biggest war that is happening right now. Countless people losing their lives, their home. We don't even have to go that far. Look at what is happening in our own community, in our, in our own town. There's so much contention. There's so much 
strife, neighbors living bad with other neighbors. We are so unkind, unloving, unfeeling. And yet the Bible tells us that we are to love one another, but we fail to practice this love. Then how is it that we expect the world to change when we refuse to follow the guidance of the Lord? And so he admonished us this morning through his word that we are not in darkness. And so therefore we should not operate as though we don't know what time it is. So the coming of Christ should not be a surprise to any of us who read God's word. We should know and understand that God give us this information to prevent us from losing our lives, to lose our soul. He said that what he has not created us for wrath, meaning he did not create us to then destroy us. He created us to life and to life eternal. And that is why he is doing all of this in order to save us so that we don't have to feel his wrath that is coming. And so he said that he will come as a thief in the night. A thief do not give you a warning that he is coming. He just show up. And in the same way, God is just going to show up for a lot of people all because they refuse to heed the warning. But for those who heed the warning, this would not catch them off guard because we would already know what is ahead. So God is our friend. And as we know, you don't keep your friends in darkness. True. And so because God is our father, he's our friend and our savior, he's making sure that he gives us all the tools that we need in order to be saved. And so he admonished us that we are to encourage each other. We are to pray for each other, lift each other up. And we are to walk as children of light. Walk sober. Let us not sleep, it, he says. But we should watch and look as we wait for the coming of Jesus Christ. And so, as you go through 2024, and as we journey on this path together as brothers and sisters, as friends, as family, let us keep our eyes on Jesus, who is able to save us. Because there's nothing in this world that should draw us away from the love of Christ. We should not let the striving for a better life in this world be our, our first goal. The Bible says that we are to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then what? All other things will be added unto us. And so as God see fit, he will bless us accordingly. So we don't need to worry. David says that what? From he was young. And now he's old. He has never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seed begging bread. And so, for those of us who believe that, we got to keep up with the Joneses. Because what? Things in this world is so expensive and we got to make the payments for the bills and whatnot. All of this, yes, has its place. And I won't have you believe that they don't. But what I'm saying is that don't focus so much on all of these things and neglect your soul salvation. God should be first and your determination to serve him must be intentional. And so I pray that the Holy Spirit will give you courage, will give you boldness and will strengthen your hearts as you continue to look for the coming of the Lord. Amen.